A pre-wedding practice run. Local bride-to-be Susanna Greaves and her bridesmaid Megan Ferguson walk the aisle in Knox Church. They're wearing dresses about to be modelled along with more than 80 others in a church fundraiser. The oldest gown would be in the 1860s era and we come right up to the present day. The event was first held a couple of years ago making $5,000 for church maintenance and upgrades. Organisers are hoping to raise more money this time so the church car park can be resurfaced. But none of the gowns are repeats. They come from people in the congregation, friends of ours. People just hear about it and they're delighted to loan their gowns to be seen again. Co-organiser Suzanne Bishop's helping to decorate the church, not only for the show, but also her son's wedding. So it's all just worked out beautifully. We're really into weddings in this place at the moment, and we just think it's such an amazing venue. If you look around, we've got it all for a wedding. Local clothing historian Jane Malthus is emceeing the show. She's enjoying the opportunity to see decades of dresses. I love that now, for instance, we seem to be in a period where very full skirts and strapless beaded bodices are fashionable, whereas in the past that was completely unheard of. You know, brides always had their sleeve arms covered. Church members are planning to have improvements done by Christmas. They're wanting to ensure the church continues to be a popular wedding venue for decades to come. Rosie Mannon's 39, Dunedin News.